it's Thursday. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. You guys know, you guys know what today is. And oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little scared. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Kathy, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so worried about today's project. Oh man. <clears throat> Hi, Cindy. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like, this is what nightmares are made of. <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but I mean, oh, designing on the fly is seriously scary business. Like I could totally, totally bomb this, but I feel like even that's okay because like we're going to learn something anyway, right? <laughs> but I'm still really nervous, really, really nervous about it. Hi, Jana. Hi, Joy. How are you? Hi, Barb. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. You know what, Cindy? I got to tell you something. After last night, I, okay, so for those of you who don't know, I started another group and the information about that group and what that group is about is in the Sarah Ellis Designs community. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about that, but <laughs> I did a little live last night to kind of officially open that group and, you know, talked about some personal things. And I got to tell you, like when I woke up this morning, I felt so good. I was like, okay, first of all, the sun is shining, which is amazing. It's an absolutely beautiful day today. Um, but I don't know. I just felt this great sense of relief. Like nothing has changed in my situation, obviously, but I just feel so much better, like speaking my truth. So I'm feeling a little sassy today <laughs> on top of the, like, um, you know, extreme anxiety from opening this box and like trying to design a piece of jewelry. <laughs> I'm feeling a little sassy. And um, when I looked in the mirror this morning, I was like, hey. <laughs> so if you're not feeling sassy today, I encourage you to go look at yourself in the mirror and be like, hey, <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so good to see you guys this morning. Well, it's not really morning. It's like afternoon, but you know, I do have to say though, I'm glad that we don't have like smell a vision because I just ate a sandwich that had onions on it and like I can even like <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's intense. Oh my goodness. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Today is the day. It is a design shenanigans. And that's pretty much the unofficial term. It's you know, title. It stumped the designer. Ginger and Joan came up with this idea that, um, you know, it would be a cool idea to like send me things and have me open them on the live and then design with them. This seems like a wonderful idea and I'm still all on board about this. I think it's a fantastic idea, but it's also a very terrifying idea because it could very quickly go off the rails, right? Um, or I could look at things and be like, I have absolutely no idea what to do with these. Um, so that's always a possibility because you guys know as jewelry designers, sometimes when you get, uh, you know, you've got something in your head or you've laid out your beads and you're like, okay, I want to make something today. And you try three different things and none of them work. <laughs> and it's so frustrating. Like, I'm so afraid that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> so I don't know. We're going to find out, right? We're going to find out. I, I think it's going to be fun regardless. So It'll be exciting. Hello to all of my live wires. I love that you guys are so, are so into calling yourselves out. Like, I don't know. When I go over to the Michaels for the virtual classes, they're, uh, everybody over there is like, did you bring your fan club? I'm like, that's the live wires. And yes, yes, I did. <laughs> they're not my fan club. Like, that's my fam. That's my fam. Welcome to all the newcomers. You guys are in for a treat. Today's probably the worst day. <laughs> Today's really the worst day to join in for your first video experience because I could totally bomb it. But hey, we're going to have a good time no matter what. Um, so something else that I wanted to mention to you guys, tonight is my interview for A Mom on a Mission. The um, event has been posted in the group for that. I think it's also posted on my business page. I'm not exactly sure, but if you want to come hang out, that's at 7 p.m. tonight. I'm going to be interviewed by Jessie Wild. She's going to just ask me some questions about being an entrepreneur, being a mom, juggling all of the things that I I wear a lot of hats, so um, she's going to be talking to me about all of that. So if you want to come and join me, I would love to have the wild, the wild. I would love to have the wild ones there, <laughs> the live wires. We should be the wild wires, right? I would love to have you guys there. It, um, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. 
Oh, goodness. Um, one other thing is the snack shenanigans. I was originally planning to do snack shenanigans today, but my schedule just kind of, it just didn't work out. So what I'm thinking is tomorrow I have some meetings with Beetle on tomorrow afternoon between my live here and my live over on Julian. So I'm thinking that on Saturday. On Saturday, I have a virtual class at Michael's at 2 p.m., um, and then I'm thinking maybe 4 p.m. on Saturday, I'm going to do a snack shenanigans. I'll post the event so that you can get the notifications for it and you won't miss out. Um, and I hope that people show up because I know it is a Saturday, but I figured, you know what, if you needed something entertaining to watch on a Saturday afternoon, I got you. I got you. Um, I've got weird things to eat, so we're going to check that out. For those of you who are brand new, don't know what snack shenanigans is, ask the group. They will totally fill you in. Okay, so... <coughs> <clears throat> let's let's talk about it shall we so I have this box and it's a heavy box okay I'm so nervous I do know that there is a petrified wood pendant in here ginger did tell me that in advance so I do know that that is like one of the focals that is in here I'm really interested to see what that looks like I've never seen a petrified wood pinned it in person. Um, she tells me that it's beautiful. I cannot wait to see it. There are other things in here. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. So what I've done is, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is my cart, right? Usually my cart is kind of far away from me. And then I also have all of these drawers here. Like a lot of my materials for things are pretty close by, but I wanted to bring my cart up close because I don't know what I'm going to make. And this has a lot of like things on it okay so I haven't planned anything in advance this literally is designing on the fly and I'm really nervous <laughs> I don't know what that voice was but I'm really nervous all right so let's eee, I'm so scared let's get down to it let's open the box let's look at everything that's in it and then you guys can help me right you can help me we can try to come up with something together and either we're gonna make something beautiful or we're gonna begin to make something beautiful and I'll finish it later or we're going to completely make a mess and it'll still be fun. <laughs> so let's, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So it is a priority box and I'm going to have to, it's all taped up. So I'm going to grab the scissors. Are there air holes in the box? If there is something alive in this box, it's been shaken around quite a bit. So I hope not. <laughs> Tina says, do it, do it. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do it. All right. Oh, we got another box inside a box. Oh, you love my bracelet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do too. This was a free pattern from um, Around the Beating Table, I believe. If you just Google Around the Beating Table, they have a lot of really great free patterns that are easy. It looks complicated, but it wasn't. It was really, really easy to follow. Okay, Ugh. all right, let me kind of adjust a little bit here. I wanna make sure we got all the light that we need. Oh, I'm scared, okay. All righty, who's ready, who's ready? I'm nervous, I'm so scared. <laughs> like I keep adjusting things, I'm like move the tools, adjust the lights, like I'm so scared, okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's right on top. I know that's what this is. Look at it. Looks like a tree. Like if you cut a tree, well, duh. It's <laughs> it's petrified. Oh, that's beautiful. That's gorgeous. And look, it's got a nice big hole on it. It's very very shiny. In person, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah gonna have to do something with it. I've never seen anything like this before like I've seen great big huge geodes but I've not ever seen yeah petrified wood and it's like coated in some sort of resin I think to um or something similar I don't know to keep it nice and shiny oh that's awesome I love that and you can see the tree rings and everything so you could like sit here and count and decide how old this tree was before it became petrified <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, Ginger. Oh, I'm so nervous. 
Okay, so on the top, I see some check glass rounds. That's not scary at all, right? These are always usable for things. Really beautiful and in a color that will definitely go with our, with our pendant here. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, these are awesome. This is some matte, let's see, Red Creek Jasper. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. And again, she's kind of made this easy on me. Like she put together things that go together, right? Oh, so excited. I have no idea what we're going to do. <laughs> this is exciting and terrifying all at once. Oh, this is pretty. Ooh, which direction? I think it goes that way. Oh, that's awesome. That must be Jade, I would imagine. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so the pendants are huge, which is something that I don't normally, like, I don't normally do big pendants, right? At least not for lives. Oh, gosh, I'm nervous. But these, these rock. Check these out. So these are like the Z beads, the agates. These are just big agate pendants that go with the Z beads. You guys, I totally forgot to show you the Z beads that I got that came from um, Bargain Beadbox. Uh, beadbox Bargains, either, you know, whichever way. <laughs> Bargain Beadbox is the box, but Beadbox Bargains is the shop. I got the Z beads. So these would look awesome with the Z beads. I'll have to show you my stash of those. Super, super cool. Again, though, really big. Like, I'm scared. <laughs> scared. I love this shape. Check out the colors here. So these are like, I think they're like reconstituted stone something or not. Like, there's probably an official name, but these are awesome. They're that coin, kind of puffy coin shape. All right. All right. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. This would look really pretty with this. Maybe. I don't know, perhaps, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe too much color for this guy. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Okay, next is some Mother of Pearl, at least I think that's Mother of Pearl shell. Ooh, that goes with this too. Oh, look how pretty that is. Mm, it's hard to say which one I like more. Like this is more kind of elegant. This is more kind of boho. Oh, but those are so pretty. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do, you guys? What are we gonna make? What are we gonna make? And there's still more. Like this box is jam-packed full. Um okay. More big things. There's more big things in here. So these look like pieces of maybe African turquoise. Wowza. Those are awesome. Oh my gosh. Could we stack? Sometimes I like to stack. I don't know. I think that's too much. But I mean, I'm just thinking, right? We're just thinking. We're just thinking. What are these? Oh my gosh. These are huge. Look at those scarabs. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know. They're definitely not made out of wood. They're heavy. Those are awesome. Dang, they're big, though. Nope. <laughs> they would have to be on their own. Like, what? What would they? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, here's a, there's another bag. There's another bag of beads. All right. So, in this bag, it looks like there is some Amazonite. There are some little Rondell Amazonite. So those would go with that, or these would go with that, right? Oh my gosh. Like, there's enough to make, like, six things here. <laughs> Ginger, you sent me enough for more than one project. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. There's so much stuff here. Mm. These are beautiful, though. Oh my gosh. What are we going to... What can they go with this, too? See? She was thinking, like, ahead of time. Like, Ginger, why didn't you make something? You had all the parts. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. We're still not done. So, here's a baggie. I'm going to open this in just a second. But there's pieces of leather in here. So, there's some braided leather cord. Looks like maybe one and a half millimeter, maybe. Maybe two millimeter. I don't know. I'm probably really off. Hey, look. My gauge is right here. Let's look. 
So I've got a little bit of braided cord here. I was completely off. It's two and a half. <laughs> Definitely bigger than one millimeter. I'm nervous. Can you tell? All right. So that, again, goes with all of this. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then a piece of brown. This is really soft. I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay. And then we've got this little guy. So let's open this up because this looks like it's got all of the metal stuff in it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of move things out of the way here a little bit. Like this is a ton of stuff. Ginger, you like sent way too much stuff. I'm not complaining, but like, oh man, <laughs> there's enough here for several projects. I don't have to use all of this in one project, right? <laughs> Now that would be interesting if the challenge was you must use everything. That would be crazy. All right, so this has got what looks to be, I see some moons. Ooh, those are pretty. Oh, and there's two of them. There are some moons. I love those. Those would make great earrings. Or two really awesome pendants. Okay. Some rings, some metal rings with some flowers on them. They're pretty heavy too. These are like substantial. Okay. And there's some fluted like tassel toppers, bead caps, cord ends in anti-copper. Those are really pretty. And again, would go with all of, I have no idea what we're gonna make you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm so scared. There's some really awesome chain in here. That is beautiful. It's like diamond cut silver chain with some big, big links. There's some copper chain, which, yes, that would be gorgeous as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the copper goes with the Z beads too. I don't even know. Okay, tube beads. I love these. These are super awesome. You can put these. Ooh, maybe we could do like, we could do like a wrap, maybe. Will these fit? Ooh, yeah, these fit on the leather. Oh, that's fun. Oh, there's more. There's some little ones too. Oh, you could hang a pendant from that or you could make a bracelet. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know. There's some rings in a hematite color and this big, beautiful rose. Okay, so I'm officially, I'm, I've officially <laughs> opened everything and I'm so confused as to where to even begin with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me scroll back because I want to see if anybody made any suggestions. Like, look at all of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's roll back. Um, so Myra says, round beads with the mother of pearl for a necklace. Jade focal with the Z beads or scarab suspended from it. I'm loving all of this. Um, make leather necklaces or the back to attach the bead portion and good luck. <laughs> How about you come over? <laughs> you come over and let's do this together. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Yeah, Ginger sent an amazing box. Can anyone send Sarah a box? So yeah, let's talk about that at the end though, okay? Let's get through this first one. <laughs> let's get through this. Okay, choose the focal. <sighs> Nancy says choose the focal. So... I really want to work with the petrified wood just because it is absolutely beautiful. And Ginger did tell me in advance that it was going to be in here. So I was really looking forward to it. Um, it is really, really big. And I am very uncomfortable working with something really big. But I feel like that's a good place to start, right? Um, okay. So I definitely want this to be our focal. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to kind of scoot everything else out of the way here and let's just kind of think for a second. Okay, so initially what I when, when I saw these together, I was like that's perfect, right? This matte jasper looks really beautiful with the petrified wood. It really really does go, but you could do the mother of pearl shell and 
and it would have a totally different, a totally different vibe. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? So I'm thinking if we went with a mother of pearl shell, maybe we should include some, some leather, but I'm thinking maybe not the leather that was included. Maybe we should go with black, maybe a black leather. Or we could go with the matte jasper and go with the brown leather. See, so we could really kind of take this to totally, I mean, we could take it a million different ways, but like that's, that's beautiful, right? Let me grab some black. I've got some black leather right here. Okay, so that's a really beautiful option. Okay, so everybody's feeling that one. That's gorgeous. Or we've got this and just for an example here is a little piece of black or black, right? For the leather maybe. And then we can add other things to this, but oh gosh, I can't decide. <laughs> I don't know which one we should use. So if I went with a black, we could use the silver tubes, right? We could use a silver tube. We could put it on the black. We could hang this guy. Mm, I don't know, maybe not. I don't know, maybe. And then do like some little doodads with our leather and then string our mother of pearl. Oh my gosh, I don't know, this is so stressful. Um, okay, so I feel like this is probably more my personality than this one is. Like, I love this, and this would be something that I would design for somebody else, right? But if this were something I was going to design for myself, it would be this color combination here, because I'm, I'm really into, like, blacks and grays, <laughs> right? I mean, I own every black and gray t-shirt on the planet, so, I mean, you guys know. Ugh! The black speaks louder. Oh, but Tina prefers the first. I know, it's so hard. It's so hard. I think I'm going to go with this because I feel like this is the easy answer. Like that's, I could, I mean, because we could make the exact same thing with either, I'm so confused. I don't know, I do love that. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Cause you guys like this one and I feel like, I feel like you guys will be able to help me a little bit more with this one um, because you guys are into the earthy. So I'm, a, I'm gonna let you guys kind of guide me a little bit, okay? So, oh golly. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off of here. We don't need that. And that's gonna kind of help me look at this a little bit better. So, Let's think, let's think, let's think. Hmm, we could go, like copper could go with this, silver could go with this. I think the copper looks really pretty with it. Maybe we should bring some copper accents in. Let me look in my box here. I've got a box of like metal stuff. And I know I've got some coppery stuff. I really love copper, so let's see. Ooh, I have these. Maybe that'll work. Hold on. I have these guys. Yeah, I can add the copper links. So look at these little dudes. I have kits for tomorrow. I can't wait for you guys to see them, but they're leather kits. And I have some of these. They're not in copper, they're in silver. But these guys have been kind of on my brain. But like, you know, it's a large hole so you can thread, like you could double the leather if you wanted to, to thread through here and then we could hang this guy from it. And yeah, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking and let, let's do, <laughs> let's let's try something, shall we? Let's just, let's just see what happens. So if I double my thread or my double the leather, okay. And let's see. Um, since that's going to slip slide around, I don't want it to slip slide around. Here's what I want to do. Okay, wait, think, think a second. Um, nim, 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 nim. okay, let's tie an overhanded knot. This is, this is so stressful. I'm starting to like stress sweat. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. So I'm going to tie a knot on one side here. 
Maybe I need to move that more to the middle, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. There's a knot there. Let's tie another knot on the other side. I have more. I don't think I have this size, but I've got more leather if I mess this up. Okay. So, <laughs> there's something. <laughs> Okay, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Okay, hold on now. No, wait a minute. Let's wonder. I don't think there's anything in here that's large enough. Maybe. Let's see. Let's dump some of this out. As far as the beads are concerned, I really want to stick with the beads that are here. I don't want to grab for any beads for one thing. They're too far away from me. <laughs> so I've got all the materials like wire and bead stringing wire and all of that stuff. But like as far as beads, like we, we kind of need to stick with what's right here in front of us. Um, but what I wanted to see was if maybe there was something in here that had a larger hole maybe. Oh, it looks like there's a few. Okay, hmm, maybe. So, I don't think it'll go over. No, it's not going to fit. I thought it would, but, oh, no, maybe. There we go. All right, okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't make these weird noises when I'm, when I'm just doing on my own, I promise. Totally kidding. No, I don't like that. Okay, change my mind. No, no. Okay, so I'm gonna need um, I'm gonna need some sort of some sort of loop. I'm gonna need some sort of connection. That's why I was thinking maybe I should move this more to the middle. So I've got a little bit more to work with. Let's do that. Let's untie these. Oh my gosh, this is stressful because I also feel like I, I don't want to keep you guys here forever either, right? But sometimes designing things takes a minute. So, okay. Let's move this more towards the middle so we've got a little bit more on either side to work with. Let's retie the knots. Okay. So there's one. Let's untie this one and retie it. This leather is really, really soft. Ginger, where did you get this leather from? It's very, very supple. It feels like Leather Cord USA leather. I bet it is. Ginger gets the good stuff. Shameless plug for them. I don't even think they know who I am. Well, they do, but... <laughs> I don't think they watch me enough to care that I'm like shamelessly plugging them. They certainly do not need my, um, <laughs> my endorsements by any means. Okay. So, oh no, but you know what? This means I gotta have, I gotta have like copper colored findings. <laughs> I didn't think this all the way through, obviously. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get up and go get some jump rings. Okay, everybody, hold still. <laughs> Nobody go anywhere. Let me see. Where are my jump rings? Um, okay. All right, got a box. Got a box. So I could mix metals here if I wanted to, but let's... I got some twisted ones, too. Those are pretty. Okay. Maybe a twisted jump ring would look good with it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to find out. <laughs> Quick, still defend it while she's gone. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have to wire wrap this because, like, that's not going to be, that's not going to clear that at all. Oh, and I don't have any copper wire over here. Oh, son of a gun. Okay. I'm going to grab some wire. <laughs> Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Do I have copper wire here nearby? Probably not. Okay. That's okay. 
we'll mix our metals because I have no other choice at the moment. <laughs> I'm not going to dig for copper wire. All right, silver it is. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of copper. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a piece of silver. This is some 22 gauge wire. Oh, but maybe 20 would be better because this is pretty. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are stressing me out. <laughs> 18 gauge? No. 18 gauge? Where's the 20? Here it is. All right. Let's go with 20. I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> Grab the goods. I'm getting the goods. I'm getting the goods. Okay. So I'm going to use 20 just because this hole is really big and that's still a pretty small little wire. But we're going to make it work. All right. So I'm going to take two ends, cross them together like our little TV antennas here. Okay. And. <laughs> I'm going to bend one of those up and down. So we're still going to teach while we're doing this, right? I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this guy and wrap around. And I'm going to make like a, I'm going to make, I'm going to make my little platform guy like we do every once in a while instead of like a wrapped loop. So there's our little chunky monkey kind of platform. That'll do. That'll do. I'm going to come to the back. I am getting my exercise today. <laughs> let, me, let me scroll back here. I, there was... Gia says, why do I feel like Ginger is at home giggling right? Because she, she totally is. You know she is. You know she is. Um. Okay. So I want to wire wrap this directly to this guy. So let's... You know, I could put a bead here, though, to like... Should I put a bead? I feel like maybe I shouldn't. Let's not. I'm trying to overcomplicate things. Let's keep it, keep it easy peasy. All right, so I'm gonna bend my wire forward. How can you think about teaching? I'm always kind of in that zone, so, uh, you know, I, 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 that's not. <laughs> it's like I'm always in teaching mode. You can ask my kids, they're like, mom, please stop. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. So, kind of a large loop there. It's not the prettiest loop in the world, but you know, nobody cares, that's okay. Let's see. I'm afraid I put that on backwards, I did. Okay, hold the phone. So, I put it on backwards twice. <laughs> I'm not stressed out or anything. <laughs> Which is really stupid because I could just flip this whole thing over. <laughs> Problem solved. All right. Oh, man. So, while I'm wire wrapping this guy, I got a little, um, <laughs> I got a little refrigerator for up here in my office with some leftover Christmas money that I had. And... <laughs> I got Instacart to deliver like some drinks for me and I put them because like I hate going to the grocery store and it, the delivery was free. So it was like might as well. Right. So I'm just chunky monkey wrapping this around. Um, anyway, <laughs> I put some bottles of Diet Dr. Pepper in my little refrigerator. Right. And um some Fiji waters and then a bag of little bite-sized Twix and Snickers and as you guys know I'm a snack fanatic and this morning I got up and I came in here and some of my Dr. Peppers are missing and all of the Snickers are missing out of my bag of candy so I'm thinking that that 19 year old kid that lives here <laughs> he lives next door in the room next door, I may or may not have given birth to this child. <laughs> I think he's been stealing my snacks. Dang it. Missing my Dr. Peppers this morning and my Snickers. <laughs> okay, so we've got that wire wrapped around. <laughs> we've gotten like barely anywhere in this. And like we've already been together for 35 minutes. And I'm just making a huge mess here. And here's the thing about the refrigerator. Like, I know this is just such random things that we're talking about, but he has a refrigerator in his room too. He has a little refrigerator. 
And in a little while, when he goes downstairs to make his, you know, his breakfast, he's on a health kick right now. So he's going to make like avocado toast and like fancy eggs or whatever. I'm going to go steal my Dr. Pepper's back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I've, I can come over here to, now I've got enough, I've got enough leather on either side here. So I can, I can tie it. I can make a loop if I want. Like what should I, I'm trying to decide, do I have enough leather to maybe. We'll see. I don't think I do. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna tie another knot. That's what I'm gonna do. And we'll just wiggle a jump ring into it, right? We'll wiggle a jump ring into it and... There's no sense in overcomplicating this. Someone needs to tell him Snickers and Dr. Pepper isn't healthy. I can't tell him that. He stole them from my refrigerator. <laughs> He's going to be like, Mom, really? <laughs> oh, gosh. I know, right? Why is he stealing my Snickers if he is, like, totally into health right now he just got a weight bench and he's like I can bench press blah 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 come in here mom and I'm like um okay I don't I don't particularly like to just stand there and watch him like lift weights but <laughs> I mean I'm the mom so I'm like okay okay sure sure I'll watch for a minute <laughs> let's tie another knot oh golly okay the joys of teenage children Okay, I'm going to do another one over here on the other side. Making this a little bit longer than what I had originally anticipated, but I can't help myself because it's very hard for me to cut this leather. It's so pretty and it's so soft. Like, I feel like there's no there's no sense in, in cutting it and having, like, these little short doodads that I can't do anything with. So, okay, there's that. And it's not, it's not perfect, but it's close. <laughs> okay, now I am going to cut it. I'm going to trim off these guys, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but oh wow. Well. Okay, so here's the beginnings of something, right? And then I want to take these guys and like, oh golly, I have beads like rolling all over the place. So... <laughs> Oh, I have to just giggle because if I don't, I might actually cry. This is stressing me out so bad. <laughs> All right, let's take our beads and let's divide them up, okay? So just so that I know I have an even amount on either side. I wouldn't really cry, I promise. No crying. There's no crying in jewelry making. <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. Okay. Now I'm going to get some bead stringing wire. That I do have right here on hand. So let me grab some. All right. So I don't have any copper, but I've got some bronze. I think that will, I think that'll do. Okay. So there's some bronze. Um, I've got to get some findings for this. Let's see here. I've got some copper, copper tubes. Will those fit that? Yeah. And do we have a wire guardian in copper? Um, we do. We do. We do. We do. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. The, these two strands of beads are obviously not going to be long enough to do like a whole necklace with but we can always kind of follow this with some chain like there was this really beautiful chain here there's there's not a lot but we'll see we'll see what happens like we're just we're just gonna go with it let me grab my crimper and 
I am going to use one of these twisted jump rings because they're just super cool. I can't wait for you guys to see the kits for tomorrow. So I have four kits for tomorrow. Like I got a lot for you guys. I was able to work on them early this week. A lot of times Thursdays, I'm like rushing to put kits together for you all, but I was able to work on these in advance. Um, Kathleen Carr, everybody, give Kathleen a shout out. Give her some virtual hugs. She helps me find the most amazing things for kits and for creations. And so she had sent me a box of goodies that came over the weekend and I was really inspired. So I was able to like really get some fun kit stuff together for you guys. There are two leather projects um, with some braided leather cord. There are, um, and two pairs of earrings. One of the earrings is a restock in an earring kit that sold out really quickly, but it's in a different color. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And then the other earring kit is with some really beautiful blue table cut check glass. And, you know, it's, it's going to be another one of those days where the prices are going to be like kind of all over the place. So there will be a, there'll be a, you know, there'll be something for everybody's budget, hopefully. I just can't wait for you guys to see them because there's some really beautiful stuff. The leather necklace has some labradorite in it. That is, it's just beautiful. Okay, so I wiggled two jump rings into those knots. And if you were doing this for yourself, you certainly could come in with some GS Hypo Cement if you wanted to. And a little tiny dab of glue in those knots is going to hold those knots in place. So you don't have to worry that your, um, your jump rings are going to slip out of that or your knot's going to come undone or anything crazy. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a crimp bead, crimp tube rather, and... I'm gonna thread that on to one end. I'm gonna thread through my wire guardian here. And I'm gonna hook my wire guardian to my jump ring and then through my bead stringing wire. Okie dokie. Now we're gonna crimp. So I wanna make sure that our, our bead string wire is not crisscrossing inside that crimp bead. So make sure that you got your wires running parallel in there. This wire feels a little slippery. Okay, so crimp it in the back notch and then put it in that front notch and squeeze just to kind of tidy it up a little bit. Keep that crimp nice and small and then give it the tug test just to be sure like you want to be sure that nothing's going to come undone okay and you can trim that tail if you want to or you can leave it kind of wishing that i had some spacers that were copper colored i wonder if i do um let's see hold on standing up So I don't know how you guys, this is a really good opportunity to show you guys um, something that I, I have a lot of. So like these guys, I got these at Walmart over in the craft stuff. And it's just a container that has like these guys in it. And I keep like this one has all my copper stuff in it. There's some rose gold stuff in here too. But for the most part, like this one is all my copper stuff. And then I have one that has like brass colored stuff, antique brass and silver stuff. I just find that it's easy to like go grab the entire container and then I can dump them out one at a time if I need to. Um, another just little plug for a company that definitely does not need me to represent them in any way, shape or form, but that's where I got these. <laughs> and I did see somebody ask earlier like how, how people are storing their stuff. So I just love these little guys. I've got a bunch of them. So, like, this guy is full of bead caps and fun things. Candy has a name for these. Uh, when you have a mix match of stuff like this, like, in a little cup. I can't remember what she calls them, though. Do you guys remember what she calls them? She has a cute little name for it. Never can remember. Okay, so. Whew, I'm starting to calm down a little bit now. <laughs> I'm going to thread on one of these beads and I want to try to see if I've got enough of some kind of spacer to go between all of these. I probably don't. But just to kind of bring that copper, I might have enough of these guys. I don't know. 
just to bring the copper up here into the beads as well. Not that they necessarily mean it, need it because they do have that kind of copper color running through them, but I don't know. We're just playing. We'll just see what happens here. See the, that just little addition no, it's not bead soup, because I got a lot of bead soup. She calls it something when it's in a little cup. I just, for the life of me, cannot remember what, what it's called, but she's got a cute little name for it. I'm going to trim the tail of that bead stringing wire, because it's bugging me. All right, so watch me do one whole side and then run out of... Run out of bead caps for the other side which is probably what's gonna happen. A nut cup, that's what it is, a nut cup. <laughs> Why did she call it that? And am I referring to something completely different? <laughs> I bet I am. A nut cup, that's what this is, it's a little nut cup. Let's pull these little guys out so that we, okay, it looks like I've got plenty of these, hopefully. We'll make it work. Okay. A nut cup because it's like the nuts and bolts. Is that, am I making the right assumption there? <laughs> All right, now you guys are just getting to see me string. This part is not nearly as stressful as the beginning. <laughs> now we have some sort of For part nut cups for party mixes, like how cute is she? I just want to squeeze her little cheekies. Don't tell her I said that. That's that sounds really weird. <laughs> Candy Sarah said she wants to squeeze your cheeks. <laughs> She'd be like, I'm never collaborating with her again. <laughs> She's weird. All right, which cheekies, you're so funny. Joan. <laughs> Joan, I'm going to pinch your little cheekies. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, Snack Shenanigans is coming up on Saturday. I hope you guys can join. If you can't, you definitely can watch the replay. We'll be putting it over on YouTube as well. Um, I have a whole audience of people who watch the Snack Shenanigans who are not jewelry makers. Um, I'm always, like, trying to convert them, though. <laughs> so, it'll be it'll be a crowd of, of you know... People who like to watch me eat, which is totally weird. What's wrong with you people? I'm just kidding. That's really pretty. That's beautiful. So um, as far as the snacks are concerned, I have just to kind of give you like a little heads up of what's coming. I'm going to go ahead and crimp on this end as well. We'll add something else to this because we're going to need some length here, obviously. Um, but as far as the snacks are concerned, I have some Asian pickles. I think I posted a picture of them to let you guys kind of know. I, that was a while back. Um, they look like slugs. They're very, very scary looking. I'm, I'm terrified. There's something wrong with this one. Uh, I'm terrified to try them. Um, I have a 100-year-old egg. Everybody asks if it has an embryo in it. It does not have an embryo in it. I will not go. I, I, that's something I just can't do. Um, but the, the yolk is black, which is terrifying in itself. Um, and I've got some ketchup-flavored cotton candy that I've been holding. It's ketchup and french fry-flavored cotton candy. Um, what else do I have? I have some really weird things, um, just some little odds and ends. So it's, it's going to be an interesting one for sure. Um, and those of you who have never watched one of my snack shenanigans before, <laughs> we do it just for fun to, you know, to keep from taking ourselves too seriously. I get snacks from around the world and I try them on a Facebook live. Everybody laughs. It's a good time. Um, so, you know, I eat gross things and you can live vicariously through me um, if you're interested. 
but I've eaten some really gross things. Have I not, you guys? Like, I've eaten some really, really gross things. Um, at Christmas time, I had, whoa, sorry, I had clam flavored candy canes. And out of every gross thing I've ever eaten, I still, I still think that's the grossest thing I've ever had. Um, and I have eaten a lot of really gross things. I even had durian fruit um, candy, which was filthy. I had Vegemite, which is also filthy. No offense to my Australian friends. Um, but by far, the clam-flavored candy canes were the worst. Like, if you had somebody on your hit list, <laughs> which I don't encourage, by the way. I, um, I don't encourage you to have a hit list, but if you did, perhaps, um, you would, <laughs> you would want to send them some clam flavored candy canes because they're foul. They're absolutely foul. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. We're going to thread through this one. I think this is going to be really pretty, but you know what? Here's the thing. Ginger sent me really beautiful things to start with. She, um, she sent me a color palette, well, several color palettes, actually, that, um, you know, I think I probably could have put together anything with the color palette and it would have turned out beautifully. So, um, still stressful, but, you know, at least she didn't send me colors that didn't go together or things that I was super uncomfortable working with. But I have a feeling when Joan does it, Joan is not going to be nearly as kind. <laughs> oh, so Joan is next. Joan is going to be putting together a package for me next. Um, <clears throat> and she is really, really looking forward to stumping me. So I'm, I'm really worried about what she's going to send me. She is going to send me things that are very, very difficult to work with. I just have a feeling. As I would do to her. <laughs> I would do that to her as well. Oh, look how pretty that's going to be. I do know you well. <laughs> I know you love me. You love me so much. But you also treat me like a sibling. And I love that. That cracks me up. That's why it's totally okay that you send me something that is totally hard to do. Because, like, that's what a sibling would do. <laughs> Like, love you to the ends of the earth, but kind of like to watch me squirm a little bit. That's that's a total sibling thing. <laughs> All right. I feel like you guys must be bored with me just like stringing these beads. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm very slow. These beads are gorgeous, though. Did I make the bracelet? I did make this bracelet. So I got this bracelet. It was a free pattern from Around the Beading Table. So if you just Google Around the Beading Table, um, that little website will come up. And there's a ton of really beautiful, free, easy to create patterns for bead weaving that I, I love. Like I like bead weaving when I'm not being forced to do it. Like if I'm just doing it for fun, something that I want to wear. So I never create my own bead weaving patterns. I always follow somebody else's patterns. Um, I'm just not creative enough with seed beads to make my own because I do all this other stuff. Um, but it, I find it really relaxing to follow someone else's pattern and come up with something really beautiful that I can show off, you know? All right, just a couple more beads to go. And it looks like I'm running out of bead caps. <laughs> I'm going to get to the very end here and be like short on the bead caps. Please don't. I'm still stress sweating, you guys. If you guys have ever seen me at a bead show, if I, if I demonstrate at a bead show, I take a fan with me. I have a little portable fan because stress sweat is serious business. <laughs> I'm so serious. Like, I, I really, I stress sweat like nobody's business. I am seriously going to be one bead cap short. Look at this. I just need one more. Am I just missing it? Please tell me it's in here. 
If it's not, when this is over, I'll have to go back and restring this entire thing. Oh, no. I am one bead cap short. Are you kidding me? Oh, we got to the very last bead. So close. Well, poo. Okay. Maybe there's another one hidden somewhere else. I doubt it. Well, biscuits. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to come back and restring it later, but that's okay. Nobody will notice, but you can see we're one short. <laughs> bummer, bummer. Okay, that's okay. I'm not mad at it. I won't sell it though, because that will make me absolutely crazy. So I will have to restring it, and I need another wire guardian. Let's see, what did I do with the wire guardians? I think there was probably one underneath this big mess. <laughs> Gosh. Who knows, who knows? Okay. So one last wire guardian here, and then I'm gonna have to find some chain because I want some chain to be the rest of this. Share my organization techniques. I Yeah, I absolutely want to do that for you guys. Um, I have been planning that for a while, specifically now, because I did one once before, but my bead room has changed. Well, my little studio area has changed so much that I feel like it's time for an updated kind of studio tour so that you guys can see some of my organization. Um, I am very unorganized in my organization, but I understand like everybody likes to see how other people do things to get ideas. So um, if you guys want a tour of my mess, I certainly will show it to you, no problem. All right, so last little crimp here, just wanting to make sure that my crimp is nice and secure, give it the tug test. I'm gonna trim off that tail. Okay. So let me move all of this out of the way. Here's what we've got so far, and I'm not mad about it. That's pretty, right? We've got these beautiful beads. We've got the leather, like that's a very boho, earthy, right? I, I just don't know about the chain. So should we go with chunky chain or should we go with, um, you know, a smaller chain? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I feel like if we go with too chunky of a chain, it's going to take away from these gorgeous beads. But if we go with a tiny chain, it's going to be, it's not going to be balanced enough. So I'm thinking probably somewhere in the middle is going to be a good choice. I don't have any chain here at the moment that I can reach to go through with you guys so that I can, you know, I can pick a chain. But we did get at least this much accomplished and I can hold this up on the bus so that you guys can kind of look at it and we can, we can talk through, you know, what some of the other options for this would be. Um, and maybe how you guys would change it a little bit. Cause I don't want to keep you guys here forever. We have been here for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and turn you around and we'll chat a little bit. Hi, Tina. Welcome guys. We've got a new person in the house. Sophia says medium. I think medium chain is probably going to be pretty good with this too. Um, Joan says she would go with a smaller. I definitely want to keep it kind of small to medium because I don't want to take away from the beads. The focal calls for chunky chain. I'm going to have to play around, but I tell you what, I will play around with it and then I'll take a picture and we'll post it so that you guys can see like kind of what, what I came up with. Ooh, paperclip chain. I am so in love with paperclip chain right now. All right, let me turn you guys around, okay? I don't have any paperclip chain, but I need some in my life, like real bad. I have some on. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have any <laughs> yet. Here's the necklace I have on. Don't go with a tiny. The leather will overwhelm it. I think, I think you might be right about that. It's going to have to, there's like a fine line, right? What's wrong with my necklace? Okay. All right. So dangling some mother of pearl beads in the front of the focal. So the focal definitely calls for maybe something else, right? It definitely could use a little extra something, maybe some color. Like if I had some more of these, if I had some more of these beads, maybe it would help if you guys could see, 
maybe another bead here, maybe a little sprig of the, a little sprig, <laughs> maybe a little not, oh yeah, I need another Jasper bead. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll take one Jasper bead off of one, off of each end since I didn't have enough bead caps and I will wire wrap a Jasper bead and tie that little thing of leather right there to kind of bring the leather down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and have some of that color here in the front and then some chain for the back. I think that'll be really, really cool. Ooh, I'm excited. That just kind of that worked out. Ooh, a tassel. So many options. Hang some little duders. I want some duders. So speaking of duders, you definitely have the option here. Since we have these little openings with our leather here, you could definitely hang all kinds of little duders. <laughs> little duders, little duder dangles to go. <laughs> Who's keeping up with the Sarah Dictionary? I just added a new one, Deuter Dangles. We can add some little Deuter Dangles to these sections if we wanted to. Like if I had some smaller, like a smaller um, size of the matte Jasper, that would be, that'd be good. That'd be good stuff too, right? Oh, this was fun. This was so stressful, but it was so fun. I'm so glad that you guys um, were open to this idea. So let's talk about it a second. First, let me hold this up. Duders. I call everything a duder, but now I also like dangles. So well, I've always loved dangles, but now a dangle duder is officially a thing. So that's going to be really pretty. Ooh, I love that. I love that. I'm glad we went with the Jasper. I feel like the mother of pearl would have been gorgeous too, but those Jasper beads, there is just something amazing about those. Like that's super, super cool. The focal is in the shape of Africa. It totally is. <laughs> I love it. All right. So this was the very first design shenanigans, Stump the Designer. Um, Ginger definitely kept me on my toes. Thank you, Ginger, from the very bottom of my heart. You know I love you. Um, and I love everything you sent. Like, I have enough stuff to make a whole bunch of other pieces of jewelry, too. She sent me some really beautiful things. So I'm excited to play around with the rest of this. Um, Joan is going to be sending me something soon. I don't know that this is going to be every single week, but I think maybe once or twice a month, we definitely should do this because it's fun. It's fun, right? It's, it was stressful. <sighs> I feel like I can breathe a little bit now. <laughs> it was stressful, but I think it was fun. Um, and I, I think that it would be fun to curate little boxes, um, to send to each other. Maybe not just to me, right? So let's think about that a little bit more. So um, Nicole asked if other people could send boxes. You absolutely can. I've got a P.O. box. Um, you guys can send that to me. I'll tell you what the P.O. box is. It is P.O. If you're not writing, you can come back and get this in a little bit. It's also on the community page and it's on my business page as well. But it's P.O. box 71287, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37938. Um, and you can, if you want to put together a little box... I encourage you, however, to write on the outside of the box somewhere other than on the postage stuff because the post office will get a little mad at you, but put um, design shenanigans on there so that I know not to open it because people send me stuff, right? People send me, <laughs> you guys send me gross snacks. <laughs> You send me beads that you don't want. I mean, like, people send me just random things, cards. I get a lot of cards because you guys are just the sweetest people in the entire world. Um, so definitely, if you're going to send a box and it's for design shenanigans, number one, you don't have to do this at all. I'm not asking for you. This is not a call to action. But if you wanted to, you know, submit something, definitely put it on the box so that I don't open the box ahead of time. Um, also keep in mind that I only check my PO box maybe once every week and a half. I'm really bad about checking it. So I don't check it every single day because a lot of times I drive to the post office and there's nothing there. Um, so maybe even send me a message and let me know so that I can kind of have a heads up that like there's something coming to the box. So I'll be sure to check it. Um, Joan is going to send one next. So the next time we do this, it will be with Joan's box of fun things and I'm really scared because like I said sibling <laughs> sibling um but yeah just let's see what happens like I'm gonna do another one we'll see how it goes 
And uh, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. And if we can, yes, Rosanna does send birthday gifts too. Rosanna sent me the most beautiful hair clip, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, maybe we could work this out so that we could do this with each other, right? Like once upon a time I had this idea about, yeah, don't send bananas. They will definitely rot. <laughs> Kathleen, you crack me up. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I used to have this idea about the ugly bead and like that's still an idea that I've I've been holding on to for a long time. Like our bead society, we have we have our ugly bead box, which is really not full of ugly beads, it's full of great beads, but for one reason or another, somebody in the group donated them to the box because they would never use them. Um uh, it's kind of like the same thing like that I feel like with about this almost like you know, maybe we could work it out so that it could be a group thing. I don't know. I'd have to work out the like all of the um, things that go into making it a group thing. But for now, we'll just do it this way. It is kind of fun to see. Um, can you send yourself? Well, yeah, but you got to give me a heads up because my P.O. box, if you don't fit in the P.O. box, <laughs> they put you in a closet. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Nicole, the post office would put you in the closet and then they would contact me and let me know that there's a Nicole in the closet that I need to come pick up. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, you guys, let's plan to do a studio tour too. How about, um, you know what? What's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Feel Good Friday. Shoot. Let me plan, let me plan in advance for the studio tour, okay? Just because I do have a, a hot mess going on right now, but I wanna plan in advance um, and make an event so everybody can come that wants to see, okay? So let's try maybe to do that next week. I think that Nicole needs to be put in a closet. Let's try to do that next week. I think that would be a good one. Um, maybe we'll maybe we'll do it on Tuesday or Thursday. I'll let you know for sure. Um, I don't wanna do that like on the fly right now just because I kinda need to vacuum and you know, dogs. So anyway, um, all right. I think that's it. I think I've said all of the things that I need to say. I talk so much. So who knows what I've even said. Um, I will be out of here for a while this afternoon. Um, but I will be back on 7 PM for my interview with a mom on a mission. Uh, please come and hang out. I would love to see all my live wires in the house for that. It's going to be a fun little interview. It's my first interview. Um, so it'll be, it'll be awesome. Um, and then tomorrow is feel good Friday. Yay. Tomorrow feel good Friday. We've got easy peasy jewelry to make. I've got some kits for you guys. I've got some great ideas for you to take into the weekend with you. And then on Saturday, we'll do snack shenanigans. So a lot more of me coming at you, right? I will see you guys again in a few hours for my little interview. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern for our Feel Good Friday. Please feel free to reach out if you've got questions. Just send me a message. I love talking to you guys so much. So, all right. Have a great afternoon. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.